What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 13 years, buddy. 13. Anders, where did you go? All of a sudden, the radio stopped working, and then that flooding just disappeared. Crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Alex Casey. Hi. Alex Casey. Am I still... Is this the dark place? No, I can't be. Should look around. I got out. With the flooding gone, could be further clues out there. Oh, right here, right here, the flooding right here. disappeared very suddenly. I wonder if there's any connection to the overlap to Nightingale. I wonder what they're talking about. Maybe we follow. Maybe we just follow this right here. Follow the way he came. Where they were at. What's this over here? A locked box. Is that the cult of the tree symbol on it? Oh! Notes and ammo. Looks like they're tools of the trade. Remember, the they look like us, but they aren't. People. They're like animals, and it's it's your job to hunt them. Oh shit! You gonna pop up again? Oh shit! Oh my god! Is that just a regular wolf? Jesus. That was freaky, man. Like, why after 13 years is he back? Oh. The door's wide open. What the? What's this? Clear signs of tampering signal was rerouted into trans transmitter. That is not one of ours. I fixed it, so alerts will come our way. But it's definitely concern. It's definitely concerning. I'll take a report from the investigative department. Leaving, leaving this here in case I'm not the next person to fix this thing. If you're reading this, check for tampering. We may may want to put more security measures, metal casings around the whole thing, so that the raccoons can't get in. A Warning: Activity detected. A W E. Event in progress. Cauldron Lake. What's an AWE? Casey, what exactly does the FBC do? After New York, when I started looking for our friend here, their name came up. I pushed them for any files they had on him, but got stonewalled. They have a reputation of showing up for weird shit. They have a presence here, and now we find our writer. How about that? True. 
I don't, I don't think I remember ever hearing them before, but that's definitely kind of weird. Oh, hell no. Alright, get the flashlight out. I'm ready. Shit's getting intense now. Of course, we find Alan, and now shit's gonna keep hitting the fan. We did our first boss, which was crazy. I did investigate that area. Is there some more to investigate? I already made it all, all the way. There's still more over there that I could have investigated. I kind of went up the way that the boss man came up. We're over here in the overlap. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I feel like I did. Maybe nothing too, too crucial, but I mean, I got the extra storage space, which is nice. Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Just, uh, just calling back to. Hey, Mom, before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. <laughs> Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's a... Uh, just a weird case, that's all. Damn, poor thing, well, man. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Wanna say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. Oh, not this place again. What if he is, is part of her imagination? And of course, Al... Look how they're drinking coffee at the same. Like, okay, that's 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 my theory right there. Is there anyone you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No, no. They'd be in danger. It'll come for me. Okay, let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The dark presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. Thirteen years. Oh, fuck me. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. <laughs> yeah. Scratch. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's, it's, it's a crazy jumble, like a, like a nightmare. I, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Come on, tell us what's going on. When he fell into a lake. 
Jesus Christ, man. Shit, we're, we're on, we're on. Late night. Initiation one. Waking up in places with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Had I already done the show? Was that a recording? What the... Yo, we switched to live action. It switched to live action. What the heck? <laughs> oh man, it is so good to see you, Alan. Uh, uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? So does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. <laughs> he has. This is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story? Wait. This isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. He's so humble. Okay, you got me. Good prank, very funny. But yeah, I uh, sad to say, I, uh, I've not written this. Uh, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. <laughs> well played, man. That is spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own? That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger, guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right, Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction? No, but seriously, I found the, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of The Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. This is great stuff. <laughs> notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. This I is getting it's crazy. Is your best selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, ain't you?
thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. <laughs> All this talk of meta narratives. I have to expect them to disappear once this scene ends. <laughs> Oh shit, here we go. I like that. I really like that. Hello? Oh shit, listen. The light. I'm losing it. Something's not right here. I needed to get home. To Alice. What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Old gods of Asgard? Story. Old gods of Asgard. That six, name sounded familiar. Six, 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 five? Okay. I figured that's what that was going to be about. There was something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? A message? Impossible to say. His doppelganger. I like that. Doppelganger. A dark Alan Wake. Anything here? Coffee? Oh, this way? Getting a little intense. There's something in the studio with me. I had to get out. Oh yeah, the red. This thing loves its red. Oh, it's coming, Alan. Days. Here we go. Look, infiltration draft. Not bored for mapping out a story. On the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far. But other notes as well. Warnings. I have written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. Trust these words. I had to act on them. Okay. It's right to escape. All right. I guess we got it right. Yep.
Here we go. Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? Well, I know it can be an awkward question to the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? He looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I. I I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... Uh, uh, I don't know, I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Case. <laughs> Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain-slick window. My own reflection haunted the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel. The only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. <laughs> That's great. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? <gasps> there we go again. We're in a loop now. Okay, we're the loop starts. of many worlds. He's got his own spot and everything. Oh, okay. I saw the pattern change a little bit. That was a lucky guess, honestly. TV? Nothing. All right. Same thing, I guess. Hello? Evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one <laughs> without the other. <laughs> good to see you. All right. We got the map. Oh, we're back here. Nice. What's that? That's locked, so we gotta go straight. Back again? Oh, wait. No, we can. Okay, 
Okay, I unlocked that finally, right? Okay. Wait, did I go back in my room? Is something gonna happen if I go back in here? Okay. No, no. Oh my god, that's so much. Okay, may okay. Janitor, do we speak to him? New choices. All right, let's. Let me go find a way out of the talk show studio. Okay. Let's talk to the janitor real quick then, I guess. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> okay, so basement. To basement, right here, right here. Okay. I need a key? What do you want me to get from the basement? And my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got up go a man's a man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Okay. Here's the key. Okay. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look okay. into the puddle. <laughs> Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. I needed to find the basement the janitor mentioned. Okay. I know where to go, I know where to go, I know where to go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Does the green mean we're safe? An old lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? One of his awards, isn't it? I think that's like the. That felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Whoa! When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed, like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming. Oh! The bulb glowed. It held the light now. Nice! I felt another surge from the lamp. I could use it again. to his maybe his uh, dressing room or maybe stage itself maybe not the stage I 
that in here. With the red light over here? Probably the red light. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's going to be the red light. something new from the darkness the exit come on where oh shit where am i though i needed to find another way out Thank <laughs> you. 